Nigerians have expressed satisfaction with the recent development witnessed in the country under the President Bola Tinumbo-led administration. In a cross-section of interviews in Abuja, they described the President's ascent to some bills as a sign of hope and a new dawn for Nigerians who have been yearning for such development. While advising members of the 10th National Assembly to live up to expectations in the discharge of their legislative duties, they also expressed optimism that the new Senate President, Goswe Lakpabio, will bring his wealth of experience to bear and deliver the needed results. Let's join Joshua Adinoye for the details. The Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, was a beehive of activities during the inauguration of the members of the 10th National Assembly. The people rolled out drums, sang, danced and engaged in other activities to show their support and happiness over the recent development in the country. Speaking about the early moves made by President Bola Tinubu, the convener of Social Media Digest Summit, Jacob Wese, Chairman, Ogoni Youth Assembly, Abuja, Ambassador PAB, Emmanuel Webari, and the Chairman, Hausa Community in Wari South Local Government Area of Delta State, Musa Inusa, commended President Tinubu for the bills he has passed into law and also hailed the emergence of Godswill Akbabio as Senate President. The students of Lone B, it, it's a very welcome development. This will make a lot of uh, young people enroll into school. It's something that is worth commending from a president that has just come less than three weeks into office. For the past three weeks, he has taken some drastic decisions. And let me send an official congratulation to him for what he's doing and let him keep it up. So we are here to congratulate His Excellency Chief Goswell Akpabio, who has just emerged as the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We would like Akpabio. We are happy. 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 The coordinator of Okomo team and immediate past director of youth mobilization, North Central Presidential Campaign Council, PCC, of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Mike Unswan, the convener of the Rising Up for United Nigeria, Solomon Adodo, and Mohammed Safwan, all expressed confidence that President Tinubu is on the right path at transforming the country for good. We sincerely appreciate Nigerian youth for always coming out to show solidarity. We are informing the president that the masses who voted for him are solid behind him to give him the necessary support to deliver on his mandate. We have gathered here in our thousands to demonstrate an uncommon confidence in the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Metinubu. We have gathered here to say yes, we shall be partners, co-travelers, co-builders with the leadership of this country. We will not leave you, Mr. President Bola Metinubu, in isolation. We will not leave you, Senate President Godwin Akwabio, in isolation. Keep on praying for Ahmed Tinubu. He's a man of integrity, he's a man of policy, with a long time experience and capacity. He can deliver Nigeria for whatever we are thinking of what we, we are in now. In an interview with Victor Lawal Majemu, Remileku Olumota, both from Oyo State, and Usman Umar Ismail from Kano State pointed out that under President Tinubu, Nigeria will be developed and also described Senate President as a result-oriented lawmaker. We have never seen an active president like President Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu. And we could see that he has been taking a lot of steps as he has promised us the renewal. It's a new dawn on us and with what we have seen in the past two weeks, we can see that we are going we are going somewhere. I told people that in two years, people in diaspora will start running down home to come and be part of the system. I know he's an intelligent politician. 
I know Apadio. She wants to follow rule and regulation. We are counting. Others at the event also took turns to display their talents to the admiration of all. <laughs> From the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, I am Joshua Atinoi, reporting for MLC TV.